Welcome to Kinder Playtime. Welcome Kinder Playtime friends. Today we're going to play Kerbal Space Program. And we have no idea how to play it. So this is how we're going to get started. Okay, so that's a rocket crash into the moon. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start a new game. And Jacob liked this flag, so we're going to go ahead and pick it. So as you can tell, we sped it up about 300% because it was a very, very, very long video because we had no idea what to do. Uh, we're going to call this one Kinder Playtime version 1. Okay. And we're going to get started. So if you, uh, If you want to skip the building and just see the rocket fly, I'll put a link um, on the video. Okay, so let's already build a rocket. So let's build okay, it. let's put a parachute. Okay, that's a parachute we have. Yeah, we're putting on a, uh, a coupler here. Okay. And that just makes it where it will separate from another piece of the rocket. Okay. At least that's what we figure anyway. So, so some engines we're gonna put it. We're going to put a stabilizer. Okay. Okay, the stabilizer will kind of keep it steady as it goes up in the air. Um, we not, we not need a long one. We need a short one. Oh, yeah. We did pick a short one. Because this is going to be the landing craft, eventually, okay. when we figure out how to do all that. Because all we really cared about on this on this video specifically is how to get into space. Okay, so we need to get in space for four. We need some ladders. We need a lot of ladders. Yeah, we're going to put some ladders because we figure we're going to want to get out of the spaceship. I've seen videos where you can do that, so let's go and do that. Let's put an engine on. Probably a little small one. That one was too big. Well, which one? That's the one we picked. That's okay, so this is going to be the lander. Okay, so it's all gone now? Yeah, we put another coupler on because we want to separate things. So, we got, an, we got a long one. So, let's get another coupler and it, it will be gone. Yeah. And then now these ones we can put uh, things on the side we, we figured out. Okay, so hmm, we need one of these here. And we put four more of the, the uh, longer small tanks. And we're going to put some more engines on it. Okay. Because you know what? We didn't want to just go into space. We wanted to really go into space. And then it's going to be a really huge one. Yeah, and we put some cones on the top just because, you know what, that made sense. You know, drag, that just doesn't work. Yeah, that's Especially on a spacecraft. Yeah. So, uh, what, you, what you notice that we just did is we put some, uh, um, some structure, uh, I forgot what they're called, little lines. Uh, that way the engines don't fall off. And the tanks don't fall off. And then we put the yellow uh, fuel lines that basically... My understanding is it will take all the, the gas from the outside tanks and put it into the middle one first so that um, after those tanks are empty I can get rid of them and then the main tank in the middle still is full with gas. So as you can see we're building on. We're building uh, um, Okay so we need one of those. Yeah we need one of those. And then that's a really big orange. Yep. So, is it have fuel in it? Yeah, that one has a lot of fuel. So, we put some um, more cones on the top. Maybe. Put some more engines. Because, you know what? We just need more engines. Because that sounds awesome. We're going to put a big engine on the bottom. But, you know what? We're not going to stop there either. Because I want this spacecraft to go all the way to space with this still intact. Full of gas. It's going to crash when it goes down. Well, we hope it won't crash, but we'll see. Well, well, it's going to break up. Okay, well, we'll see. Oh. Okay, we put a bigger coupler down there. Okay. And we're going to go to the biggest section. I think they just added these to the game not too long ago. I tried this game when we first bought it maybe a year and a half ago, and it didn't have near as many parts back then, but... It looks like they've added some more. Well, we have that. We have yep. that. 
So we're going to add this uh, the large section at the bottom. As you can see, it's quite a bit bigger. Oh. And then at the very bottom, you have the four engines. But now we're going to put on some boosters. And I'm not just talking a few boosters. We're going to put probably 32 boosters. So eight times eight times four is 32. So that's what we're going to try to do. Like that. Yep, just like that. Okay. So that's eight of them. And now we're going to build onto this. Okay. And then what number is it going to be now? Well, now it is 16. So we have to do that twice more. So what number is it going to be now? Well, what is another eight? 24, right? Yeah, 24. 24. Okay, and then we have one more set that we're going to put on. Now, what number is it now? There you go, 32. Let's go ahead and put these cones on the top. Okay, that's all we need. So look at all of those engines. Yeah, look at all those boosters. Yeah. So we're putting a bunch of structure. Um, uh, what are these called? These struts? We're going to put these struts on all the different boosters. Because if we don't, they're just going to fly everywhere. There's going to be too much power, and it's just going to blow the entire spacecraft up. Okay, so look of all of that. So we got some boosters. We have lots of boosters, yep. yep. That should be enough to get this, this huge uh, spacecraft up into orbit. Okay. Yeah, and we want, we want most of this to make it into orbit because... Um, if we want to make some really long flights in the future, then we're going to need a lot of power to get the, um, all the equipment up that we need. So this was just our idea. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it works out. Okay, and at the bottom, we're going to put the uh, stabilizers on the bottom so that um, it won't crash immediately as you go into the um, to the launch pad. I think we're it's up. Well, let's see. We're going to put some more struts up here because there's going to be a lot of pressure on uh, on these areas here that we're putting them on at each of the uh, the main separation points. Okay. So we'll put some struts and uh, now we, we, got we went ahead and uh, set up the order. You can see over on the right screen, um, or the right side of the screen, all the different uh, stages it's going to go through. Okay, so let's go ahead and fly this rocket. Okay, we're going to do it. Okay, here we go. Okay, first test. Let's see how we do. Okay, throttle up. Let's do this. Here it goes. It's going to break up. <laughs> so far, so good. That did really good. Yeah. Some fire out. They're getting some fire out. For just knowing the basics, this isn't too bad, is it? Yeah, so it's going to break up, isn't it? Well, we'll see. It's almost out of fuel. There. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well, let's just blow it up and start over. <laughs> Was that fun? Okay, let's start over. Okay, so what I think we need to do this time is we need to wait until the the boosters have completely extinguished, let them release, and then start the other engine. I think I tried to make it go too fast. Okay. Oh, see, we had a good separation that time. Perfect. All right, let's see if we can get this bad boy into space. Wow. Is that awesome? Yeah. And this stage should get us all the way into orbit. 
and there's a moon right there. Oops. When it was going. Okay. Oh wow. And that. here's our stage that we have in space. Well, that was awesome. Was that awesome? Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. We're overheating a little bit, but I don't think it'll get to the... Uh, I don't think it'll get to where it'll explode. Well, is it going forward? Why is it going forward? All right, we let those tanks off. And we are in space. Hey, so... Still with it. Um, well, our fuel went off. Uh-huh. Why did our fuel went off? Well, our tank. Yeah, there goes those tanks. Okay, now we have a full tank in that last, that last stage before we're into the uh, the main part of the spaceship. And then we will be away from the Earth. Yeah, we are way, way from the Earth now. Yeah, so it's really far away when we get back. Yep. And it looks like we were successful. We got into space. When we figure out how to actually land on the moon, we probably will. Well, there's the engine right there. Yeah. Can we try that engine? I guess we're going to let go. <laughs> well, he's not getting back now. <laughs> Why is he not getting back now? Well, because he let go of his spacecraft. That's okay. We can just revert back. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We uh, we hope you're in, we hope you enjoyed this Kerbal Space Program video. It's kind of a we're new to it, so um, we'll learn, and hopefully, we'll uh, in future episodes we'll learn how to land on the moon and the other planets, and and make different types of spacecraft, and we'll have fun. Did you have fun, Jake? Don't forget to like and subscribe!